Listen, I love a good G&T, and for years, that's honestly the only thing I would make at home. But fast forward to a time when I ran out of tonic and was scrambling for my gin fix. That brought me to the wide world of gin cocktails with ingredients that you probably already have at your house. Today we're going to be using Balfour Street Gin, but there are so many different styles and flavors of gins out there. And if you're curious, take a screenshot of this next slide. Now this cocktail is quite literally the bee's knees. It was created during the Prohibition era and only has three ingredients. All right, we're gonna start by filling our shaker with some ice. Then we're going to do half an ounce of our honey syrup. This is a one-to-one -one ratio of honey and water. We're gonna do one ounce of fresh lemon juice and two ounces of our Balfour Street Gin. We're gonna shake this up. Now we're gonna pour this right into our coupe glass. Then we're gonna grab our lemon twist and express the oils right on top and then drop it on in. And there you have it, a bee's knees. This is another oldie but goodie and it's also only three ingredients. So we're gonna start by putting our coupe in the freezer. All right, so while we're letting that chill, we're going to start making our cocktail. So take your shaker and fill it up with ice. We're gonna do two and a half ounces of gin, half ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, and a half ounce of simple syrup. Give it a good old shake. Then we're gonna grab our chilled glass. She's nice and frosty. And we're gonna pour this right on in there. And then we're gonna garnish with a lime wheel. And that's our gimlet. All right, the legendary Tom Collins. It's essentially a gin sour made with club soda and it's probably one of the most iconic cocktails made in a Collins glass. So we're gonna start by adding ice to our shaker. And we're gonna do two ounces of our gin one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice, and a half ounce of simple syrup. We're going to shake this up. We're gonna fill the cons glass with ice and pour this right in. We're gonna to top this off with some club soda and garnish with a lemon wheel and a maraschino cherry. And this is our Tom Collins. For all you brunch girlies out there, this cocktail is for you. We are making a French 75. Fun fact, this cocktail actually gets its name from a fast firing 75 millimeter field gun used by the French in World War I. All right, we are gonna take our shaker, fill it up with ice, and we're gonna do two ounces of gin, half ounce of our lemon juice, half ounce of simple syrup, shake it up, we're gonna strain this right into our flute. And for my favorite part, we are going to top it with champagne. I like to use a drier champagne because you really wanna let the flavors of the cocktail shine through. I'm gonna to top it with two ounces of champagne. And then we are going to garnish this with our lemon twist. And there you have it, a French 75. If you like these gin recipes, head on over to your local ABC Fine Wine and Spirits to find a wide range of gins to make your next gin cocktail.